thank you for stopping by today with me in my kitchen if you are watching me for the first time please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel it's called life with arike today i want to show you a very nice and delicious recipe uh a, a very nice and delicious one of my favorite desserts i want to share with you guys today uh what's what is the dessert that i want to show you i want to show you how to make a delicious plantain chips yes that is one of my favorite desserts that i love so much so today i'm going i'm going to be showing you the secret and how i make my own nice tasty and very healthy um plantain chips so i have all my ingredients right here so let's join me and let's keep going so I will be sharing you guys step by step on how I make my plantain chips and a very healthy one. First of all, we have our plantain plantain right here. We have the unripe plantain, which we're going to be using today. You can see these are very big and I, they look good to me. So we have our plantain. We have our paprika. If you don't have this, that's fine. You can skip the bag. Whatever you don't have or whatever you don't like, you can skip. I have my garlic powder. I have a, I have my ginger powder. I have, if you don't want the sugar, you can skip. But I'm going to add some sugar in my because I love my plantain chip to be sweet. I love the sweet one. If you don't want it sweet, you can skip the sugar part. So let's get it started. First of course, we're going to peel our plantain. We're going to cut our plantain. And we're going to move on adding our um, ingredient that we have. So let's get going. All right, so right here, I peel the back of my plantain. The next thing, I'm going to slice the plantain to uh, how I want it to, to, to look like. So I'm going to be grabbing my plantain one at a time. If it is too big, you can cut into two. So I'm going to do that so that it's going to be very easy for you to hold when you are slicing it. So we're going to start working on the slice. Then the next thing, we're going to start frying. Then we have our ingredient, then we can fry. So I'm done with the slicing of the plantain. You see, they all came out so good. So the next thing now we're gonna add all our ingredients. Add all our ingredients one at a time. I'm gonna put my ginger powder just a little bit for the taste. You know, not that much. I have my garlic powder. I have my paprika. Whatever you don't want or whatever you don't have, sometimes you can skip if it is not something that really important. But you know, that is the way I want mine to taste. And I have my brown sugar. If you don't want the sugar, you can uh, skip the sugar part. Or if you don't have the brown sugar, you can use regular sugar too. It's fine. So I'm gonna be using my, ground, uh, my brown sugar for the sweetness. And we're going to have a very nice and delicious crispy plantain chips. That's good for the sugar. The next thing, I'm going to mix. Next thing, I'm just going to mix everything together. Mix everything together to make sure all the um, seasoning, they like circulate everywhere. So I'm just going to mix everything together, well mixed. Sometimes this is what I do when I'm mixing. If I want all my ingredients to like mix and marinate very good, I put a little bit of oil because the oil is going to keep the, the plantain moist. So it's like it's going to make uh, let the plantain absorb all the ingredients so sometimes i had a little bit of oil when i'm mixing my ingredients to my food i put a little bit of oil to keep it moist so 
so this is this is already well mixed you can check the taste to see that's good so you can check the taste when you are mixing sometimes or you are adding your ingredients when I, when you are not really sure because you know we don't really measure you can check there's nothing wrong with that check what you are making if you get uh, your desired taste then you're good and if you need to add something more then you add so that's perfect well mixed so i have my oil on the stove so then the next thing we're going to start putting our um plantain a little bit bit by bit until we get the um crisps and uh, crispiness <laughs> Don't want it too much, so that's good. So it depends on how you want it. If you want it crunchy, you still gotta leave it a little bit. If you don't want it that much crunchy, then you can just take it out. But I love my crunchy, so I'm still gonna leave it a little bit. To get, uh, to get crunchy and a little bit um, the brownish color a little bit so depends on how you like your plantain chips that will determine how long you're gonna fry them on the stove so a little bit more to go so this is good for me I'm just I have my clean um, paper towel right here for the SS oil so that it's gonna absorb some excess oil for me See how crispy they look. Yeah, very crunchy and crispy. So we're gonna do the same thing until we get to the last crack. So we are getting almost to the last one. They are coming nice and great already. Okay, always try. There's nothing bad in trying things. I'm telling you, one day you're gonna make it. Okay, so let's go back to our recipe. Look at this. This looks so pretty, yummy, crunchy, crispy, whatever you wanna call it. Trust me, I'm eating it already. Don't tell nobody. Yeah. So if you really like this um, recipe, please give it a thumbs up, like, share, and comment. Next time I see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs>